Hello, we're looking at a gross specimen of a kidney that has been longitudinally bisected and this is the kidney and the proximal ureter. We can see that the pelvic collateral system is quite markedly dilated and the calices are blunted and also in association with this the renal parenchyma itself is atrophied and thinned. In fact, if you look at this area and we measure the thickness and we go down to the scale, it is only about three millimeters thick. So there is dilatation of the pelvic collateral system accompanied by atrophy of the renal parenchyma, that is hydronephrosis. But in addition, if we look at uh, the inner lining of the dilated pelvic collateral system, we can see that there is this whitish, sluffy, friable material, meaning uh, that it looks like it's breaking apart easily. And this likely represents caseous necrosis. We can see this necrotic material here. And if we follow this down to the ureter, we can actually see that this is the cut section of the ureter. This is the outer surface. The ureter itself, the wall is involved by caseous necrosis and this obliterates the lumen. This may explain the presence of obstruction and therefore hydronephrosis. So this is a case of tuberculous pyelonephritis with hydronephrosis.